In this lesson, we're going to tackle the most challenging letter of Descript. Now, many people have been contacting me about Descript, recommending we add more characters, we use phonetic language, etc. English has 26 letters, let me point this out. And by the end of designing Descript, I was stuck with some letters I was not even pleased with. This Z, for example, is I'm very displeased with this Z, but I was unable to find other letters that are more efficient. So even adding a single letter to Descript, will just you will have to remap every combination and I doubt you can find very efficient letters out there so I'd, I'd say the optimal is actually about 24 letters unfortunately English is 26 so the, as we work with the letter Z please keep that in mind this is one of the restrictions keeping Descript from adding more letters to it I can't find a way to add more letters without either giving up multiple combinations or by adding strokes that are just way too complex so but without further ado, let's look at the simplest possible ways to connect these. M, A, Z. Now this is the word line as we talked before. E. Okay, I drew that very poorly, but the, I'm trying to demonstrate here that it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as you can see this. Now, some people might say, how do you know that's not a T? Well, because if you were to try to read this as a T, you'd basically be looking at a double T. You'd be looking at a T, and then some other kind of word line, and then another T. Now, a double T, we would almost always write like so. You do your single T, and you just add a dash, and you got a double. There's other ways to do T's, too. So we're just eliminating one possible way of writing a T and allocating that to our Z. So now there's a double combination we can use for the word maze. A can be drawn, AZ can be drawn like so. As you see, A plus Z equals AZ. Not bad. One other thing about the Z, some people might say that looks like a lot of strokes. It's not so much when you get into the cursive writing, you can, you can shorten it up. And secondly, when you have multiple Z's, it doesn't take so much. So if you had two Z's in a row, you can go one Z, two Z's. As you can see, just kind of divided on the middle there, and you would see where the two Z's are. So it's not a lot, um, and it can be distinct, but you have to be careful when you're writing this letter. Z is the most difficult letter of the Descript alphabet. We would then add an E, and there we go. Now, there's not a lot of extra combinations we can do with this word. Maze is a very standard word, and it doesn't present a lot of possibilities. So we'll stick with that for now, and we'll move on to zero. Zero, when you start with a Z again, you can make this part as long as you like. You probably then want to make that one a little shorter. Z, row. Well, we've got a few other combinations we can work with here. We can put the R inside of the E. We could even put the R-O inside of the E, like so. Or you could just bring it all the way down to the bottom and put the O like so. So we could just add, have a Z and a big round shape. Let's see what that would look like. That's not bad. We got a couple circles in there. It kind of looks like a zero. This kind of looks like some kind of... I'm not sure what it looks like. So let's try to do both these words make them look kind of squarish, boxy, like a single symbol. Maze, again. Not bad. I didn't draw it very clearly. Let's try that once more. Okay, kind of boxing, proportions aren't very clear, but... And zero. I'm going to give it a bit of a curve. Play with it, and then sometimes it's nice, if you have a moment and you're trying to make it very clear, you might want to connect that, just to make sure that you don't ever screw it up. <laughs> zero. So we got a lot of options here, and this is a good demonstration of how to work with the letter Z. It's not fun, it's the least fun of the Descript alphabet, but if you practice with it, you start by just drawing every stroke individually and as you practice you will get better and eventually you'll be able to draw very fluid and know that know what it is and if you're in doubt or if you don't like this version just be careful with it I will make one single suggestion here one idea I have been playing with but I have not implemented into the Descript manual and I will leave it to you guys to decide if you like it or not but there's one other character I haven't really used in Descript and that is the box you could add this to the word line like so maybe I would recommend keeping it hollow as a Z. And then you can use this square shape. Draw it like a Chinese box. One line, two line, three line. And it will always come out very square if you draw in that sequence. So we could do something like maze would be M, A. And we could just do like that, Z. And we could put the E inside of it maybe. Um, I would recommend keeping it hollow. So we would instead do this, maze. That's one possibility. 
the other thing that I've been toying with is this box idea. I'm not a fan of it because it takes three strokes to make and I don't want to give it to a vowel because vowels are much too important commonly used. This will slow down Descript writing. But many people have also recommended that you replace something like the A with this instead and then make, try to make most all of your vowels in closed spaces. So you would then have O, E, uh, sorry, A, E, O, U, and then we've got our I, but our Y is at least still in closed space. So some people have said you want to, try to, to recommend moving towards that. I'm not a big fan of that one either, again, because you're adding way too many strokes to the letter A, and A is just far too common. Um, I highly recommend you play with it, and I'll give one last example here with the word zero. So this, if you did implement this, it would be Z, E, R, O. That would be zero. There'd be other ways you could connect down off of it on the sides or whatever you like, but you get the general idea. I'm not a huge fan of this, but it's an option available.